Alright, what is going on YouTube? Foxy Kerber coming to you guys today with a brand new video, and in today's video, we're back on some Call of Duty World War 2. I'm not, I'm not playing Black Ops 4, because uh, the microtransactions in that game are fucking garbage, and I'm not doing it. And even though they're garbage in this game, I got subs that lend me their accounts on this game. So, today we're going to be looking at the brand new sniper rifle, the WZ-35. I do have to give a big shout out to my man Daynard for letting me use his account. Thank you so much, bro, for letting me use your account for multiple weapons in this game, because... These weapons are also locked behind the supply drops. Yay! Microtransactions! Yeah! If you guys do enjoy, make sure you guys do leave a like down below, subscribe, turn on notifications. Use code FOXY on gfield.com for 10% off your order. And without further ado, let's go, bro. Alright, well, we're on this garbage of a map. Went to Carrington. Okay, well, um, god, good god. Hold on. So, like I said yesterday, the uh, new weapons are locked behind the supply drops in World War II. And there's no, like, credits or collections that we can get the weapons in. And it, it sucks. It sucks ass, dude. It's, like, fucking awful. I, I don't know what to say about it. This sucks more than anything that I've ever sucked before. I, yeah, I, I don't know what to say about it because, like, it's like, I was so excited. I really was, man. Like, I was excited for this shit. And then just, like, I just saw all the microtransactions and the fact that, like, this, this shit was locked behind the drops. And I was just like, man, what the fuck? And I know yesterday I already talked about this and, you know, it's probably repetitive BS at this point. But they really, they, they really, they really, they kind of cucked us, man. They were saying, you know, oh yeah, we're going to have brand new weapons, things like that. People literally grinded this game for armory credits just to make sure that they got the new weapons. And then they find out that their armory credits don't matter. Like, why? Oh my God, that makes me so mad. Makes me so mad. And it's gone. Okay, so apparently Sledgehammer Games uh, addressed the collections thing, and I recorded this before this was addressed, so I'm just gonna read this real quick. Uh, Sledgehammer Games posted on Reddit yesterday saying that they heard us loud and clear about how the weapons are locked behind supply drops and there's no collections for them. They said that there was no plans for collections in the first place, and that kind of sucks considering that, why, like, that's pretty shitty, like, why... I don't I don't understand how you can just change your microtransaction system out of the fucking blue after you haven't released content for seven months, but whatever. In addition to that, they did confirm that on July 2nd, they're dropping contracts for the new weapons. Additionally, we will briefly open all previous collections tied to timed events, Winter Siege, Resistance, etc. And weapons associated with past collections will be available for purchase with armory credits. So if you got a ton of armory credits sitting around and are thinking of buying every single collection or are missing that one gun, this post is for you. So, it's good that they're opening up the past collections, but it's shitty that the new weapons didn't get collections. That's the news I got for you. <laughs> I need covering fire! What the fuck you need covering fire for? We haven't even started the match! Alrighty. We're on Arden Docks, or London Forest, and, uh, yeah, so, let's talk about BO4 real quick, Be oh, fuck. You guys remember when, uh, when I used to say, hey, they put, like, MK2s of the DLC weapons in the fucking, um, oh, no, in the reserve crates, you know, they're probably gonna end up putting future DLC weapons in the reserve crates, and everyone was like, ah, I don't know, maybe, you know, probably not, and now look what happened. The new tactical rifle is in the reserve crates, and you can't get it in the supply stream. How fucked is that? Oh my god. And you know, all of this kind of makes sense as far as, like, business model goes. Because think about it, we just got this report, like, a couple weeks ago, maybe, like, a week or two ago, that, um, that Treyarch is now the lead developer for COD 2020. Uh, and it's gonna be Black Ops 5, and that Sledgehammer Games is gonna be a support dev instead of like a main dev. And so now that that's the case, do you guys Double think kill. that maybe that's why the microtransactions are the way that they are in this game now? Because they're essentially just Black Ops 3 supply drops, you know, in this game now. That's what it is with weapon variants, which, good fucking lord, I. That's how I feel. Literally. Alrighty then. This sniper is very powerful. It's a one shot pretty much anywhere. Very similar to the PTRS. Enemy is 
Bruh. Hold on. Nope. Oh, fuck you with your goddamn shield! Like, I don't know, man. Like, I really don't know. I don't know how to feel about it. Like, I, it's just- Oh, I know how to feel about it. I'm just, like, upset. I'm bummed out. I'm pissed off. Like, all this fucking shit, dude. Like, all this shit is just in me right now. It's just- Dude, these guys are- These guys are using fucking launchers. <laughs> oh my god, it's like this game is trying to piss me off right now. Someone left a comment on my video yesterday saying- you know, oh, like, I don't know, they said some bullshit, and they just, like, fucking pissed me off even more. I was just like, you know, like, uh, yeah, let me find it. One minute, 37 seconds later. Okay, here we go. The, the comment says this. I'm reading this from my phone right now, so hold on. Foxy Grandpa, yo, stop shitting on World War II. You never liked the game, so don't be saying it used to be consumer-friendly. You talk about how the new weapons are anti-consumer, but you ain't say nothing about Black Ops 4. Get your shit together. First of all, it's not like hating on a game when I'm simply stating facts. The way that they did these new weapons is anti-consumer. The way that they did the weapons before isn't as anti-consumer as... Oh my god, holy shit. It's not as anti-consumer as this is. It's kind of anti-consumer, but it's not that bad. Like, it, the, the supply drop system before this, with the collections and things like that, with the events, that was really good. You know, I, honestly, like, I personally thought that, that was, like, really fucking good. Um, it wasn't as good as MWR, in my opinion, because the weapons were still in the drops. But it was, you know, it was good. It was good for what it was. You know, everyone could just obtain the weapons, no matter what variant they were, and that's fine. You know, that, I, it doesn't really bother me that much. Um... Uh, to a degree, but it, that just shows that like number one he didn't watch yesterday's video for whatever fucking reason He just didn't watch the whole video because I definitely talked about black ops 4 and about how black ops 4 has like the Fuck uh, good fucking god like it's it was awful. It was fucking awful and it is awful. It's awful It's it's the worst they literally just ported bo3 weapons and put them in reserves What the fuck? <laughs> like I don't know how else Oh Jesus Christ. I don't know like, I don't even get me started. I'll probably make a video on Black Ops 4 Supply Drops when I'm playing with one of the new weapons, like, later this week. I just, I literally cannot, like, talk about it right now because I, it, it infuriates me so much. And then second, I don't know when I said I didn't like World War II. I said I don't like World War II compared to, like, MWR or compared to, like, the gameplay of Black Ops 4. The gameplay of Black Ops 4 is pretty smooth. It's not that bad. It's really not. I like the more future slash modern setting. Instead of World War II setting, uh, you know, I, I'm not really a big fan of like a World War II setting, but you know, whatever, you know, it is what it is. The gunplay in this game is pretty good, but I just prefer the gameplay of BO4 without the specialist, of course. But that just shows like I can't say anything without someone getting fucking mad about something. Yeah, the the fucking so, the fucking the fact that these guns and these weapons are locked behind the drops instead of having collections. Yeah, that's a bunch of bullshit. And then someone else tried to fucking say this. Listen to this fucking shit. Uh, see, now I'm going on a tangent because, like, now I'm just, like, I'm just rolling with it. Um, listen to this fucking shit. Why complain? At least they are in the supply drops and not behind a paywall. Okay, so, like, I understood where he was coming from or where this person was coming from because in World War II, you can earn supply drops by completing daily orders and, you know, um, challenges and things like that. But let's let's not sit here and act like I can just get fucking supply drops. Like, with whatever currency that we have in this game, there's still the supply drops that I can, like... DUDE! What? Like, you have to... In order to get supply drops on their own without doing daily orders and things like that, you have to buy COD points in order to get the supply drops in this fucking game. What is that? What is that? Tell, someone tell me in the comments what that is. Oh, that's right. That's a fucking paywall. That's what that is. Yeah, like, what the, what the fuck? Like, what? Dude, I wish you guys had seen my face when I first read that. I was like... What? Like, what? Oh my god, it, it, um, sweet, sweet, oh my sweet fuck. Hold on, hold on.
like I said yesterday, man, it's a bummer. And I don't want to sit here and just fucking talk negatively. I said that really weird. Why the fuck did I say that so weird? I don't want to be so negative when it comes to these games. But dude, I don't know who's listening or if anyone's listening. But holy shit, Call of Duty's gonna kill itself. Call of Duty will kill itself if it doesn't work on its microtransactions. It's so frustrating. As a fan of the franchise, and like, it, it, like, it gets my, like, my blood boiling, dude. It's, it's so crazy because every single time a new update comes out, we always say, oh, it, like, they can't make it worse than the last one. Or at least I say that. I'm like, they can't make it worse than the last update. Like, they can't. They can't make the microtransactions worse. And they end up doing it, bro. They end up doing it, and it's like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> Why? They, like, they should have done collections with the weapons in World War II. That would have been so dope. Everyone saved up their credits for it. They knew. They had to have known, bro. I think that, I think that if this Call of Duty 2020 thing is true, I think that, um... That has something to do with why the microtransactions are different for this update, I guess. Because they've never been like this for World War II. And then all of a sudden, they're just going to change out of the fucking blue? Like, no, bro. There's there, there's something behind it. There's something more to it. And I think that's what it is. I think that Call of Duty 2020 thing is true. And so now they have to go under the rules. I mean, that really doesn't make any sense, though. Like, why would they have to go under the rules of a new dev studio when they're kind of like a support dev? But I guess if they're the lead, if they're now the support dev and not the lead dev, I mean, I guess, like, the microtransaction system would fall under the lead dev. So, like, I, I don't know, bro. I really don't know. It's hard to support it. It's hard to support it. This is why I have a Halo channel. So if you guys haven't subscribed to the Halo channel, make sure you guys go do so. This is why I have a Halo channel, because I know that, for the most part, 343 Industries and the Halo franchise is going to be okay. I don't know that for Call of Duty. And you know, a lot of people said this yesterday, but now I'm gonna say this. I'm really scared for Modern Warfare now. And I am, I am honestly scared about what they are going to do with the microtransactions in that game. And I smile as I say that, but the reason I'm smiling is because I'm just laughing at all the bullshit that they might put in that game. I don't know, guys. That's gonna do it for this video. I'll cover the new, I'll cover the other SMG and the LMG. I don't know anyone that really has the new AR yet, so you know, I'll just cover the other weapons that I can cover right now. And then, you know, I'll cover some BO4 stuff too, and we'll talk about that more in the BO4 videos, really. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys leave a like down below, subscribe, turn on notifications, and yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye!